Hello YouTube, I am back and welcome to the last, probably the last update video before the time lapse begins. This video will go over the design plans I have and how this time lapse will work. So the time lapse will be split into different days and each day will be a day of development, which I'll do. I'll, I'm not going to go over the making the Java program because I don't want the source code going out everywhere or anyone to copy it. So I still haven't fixed this, I'll do that after the video. But that's how the time lapse is going to work and I'm going to try and upload it each day I do it. And down here you can see, well, this is a diagram and this is the potential layout of what the computer will be. This is very likely to change, just mainly the position of the program memory. And let me just go through it. So, before I start, the green blocks here will just be all the wiring, how all the parts are connected up. These repeaters show the direction in which the redstone is travelling. The redstone is just there. And now I'll explain this diagram. So, this is what happens. You have the AL, the yellow wall is the arithmetic logic unit, or the ALU, which is this. So that's already done. Then, it will be taken into here this wire and this black wall is the memory and the purple is the user input because what I'm having is the memory to be the mix of the ROM and the RAM and the ROM is what the user input will write to so then it goes into here and there are three possible locations it can go it can go back to the ALU it can go to the binary display or the screen and these blue blocks here are registers and these control whether the or they basically control where they go where the signal goes and that's these are the outputs so that's the basics of how this will work this grey bit here I forgot to mention is the program memory which will probably move to probably somewhere over here and I'm going to give a basic explanation of what I haven't explained or how they work you know the ALU this bit here was the random number generator I believe and this will generate a random binary number which, but no, that's fine. The orange block controls whether it goes through or whether it's activated, basically. Then it goes into the RAM and the ROM, which is ba which stores all these ones and zeros that are coming through. User input is basically where the inputs are given. Then program memory is the is what controls everything there will obviously be a clock but well there is a clock but I haven't put it here but the program memory will basically tell the computer what to do at what times and this is where the all the instructions are so you write your code here all code written places these torches here and then you have the binary display which will display the output and the screen which will display an output as well so that's how this all works it's not too hard to see to understand from here but there's probably a lot better explanations online anyway so um what else do i have to say I don't actually have to say much. I'm hoping to start recording today 
and then so today will be day one although it is afternoon and yeah so I'll hopefully start today as I said and it's the weekend so I can probably get quite a bit in and I will see you later